So if you're just now joining us, we're in the middle of a multi-part series where we're uh, trying to take any calendar date in the past or in the future and determine what day of the week that calendar date fell on. So we're towards the end of our series. So if you're just now joining us, uh, I would recommend going back to the very first video, the introductory video and starting there. Um, now we know the algorithm. Uh, we understand how to compute day codes month codes and all the year codes and how to combine those to get the uh, day of the week the calendar date fell on and the year codes that we've done so far have just been for the year uh, for the 21st century which is the 2000s so in this video we're going to talk about a simple adjustment that you can make to find the year codes for the 1900s or the 1800s or any range you know before or after the 2000s so we're going to consider the 2000s as, as like our home base uh, we don't need to have uh, any adjustment if your year is already in the 2000s if it's before or after the 2000s there's going to be a slight adjustment that you're going to make with your final answer okay so let me put those adjustments up here so if you're in the 1900s let's say somebody gives you a date um, April 5th 1950 well you wouldn't do April 5th 1950 you would think of it in your mind to, uh, just you you wouldn't tell anybody this but you would think April 5th 2050 you would do the same year but in the 2000s you would figure out what day of the week that is and then to that final um, code that you would get you would add one so if, if you know you do a calendar date and it falls on a Tuesday but in, in the 1900s, it would fall on a Wednesday because you would add one. If it's in the 1800s, you take that same year as if it were in the 2000s and add three. 1700s, you add five. The 1600s is back around to zero again, and you actually wouldn't need to make any adjustment. It would be the same day of the week as the same calendar date in the 2000s. Um, there's also adjustments for the um, 22nd century, 23rd and 24th century. Um, the 2100s, the 2200s, and the 2300 calendar dates, and that's plus five, plus three, and plus one, respectively. So there's a pattern to it. Um, so you, as long as you can remember the adjustment, then you can do pretty much all of these. All right, and uh, and that's that's literally it. So let's um let's do two full examples, and then I, I do have one last closing remark. Um, but let, let's try to do these two full full fledged examples here. So if you remember the algorithm we're going to find a month code a day code and a year code and we're going to add these together to get our final answer the month code and the day codes are pretty easy um, it's the year codes that i find most challenging um, so let's let's do the year code first so when i see 1919 I, i'm going to mentally think of this as to, just to myself as 2019 so we need to know how to compute that year code, which is what we covered in the last video. Um, for this one, I'm not gonna go into all the details. I'm gonna assume you already know them. Uh, as you know, we're gonna find the uh, leap year that comes immediately before 2019, which would be 2016. 2016 has a year code of uh, six, as you know. And then you add the additional years after that to get to 2019, which is three additional years, 2017, 2018, 2019, three extra years. But there's gonna be an extra piece to this puzzle because since it was in the 1900s, remember we need to adjust this code by one. So add those up and put them all together. Um, we can take this number modulo seven. So six and three make nine, nine and one make 10. Um, but we take that modulo seven, we would get three. You can leave it um, 10 if you want to and just do modulo seven at the very end, but I find it easier just to kind of do it, um, do it as you go. All right, uh, that was the hard part. All right, now let's do the month and the day code. The uh, month code for April, that's just straight memorization. I gave you some mnemonic devices a few videos ago. April's month code was five the uh, the day code you can take that modulo seven as well because every seven days you wind up back on the same day of the week so um, you could take uh, the 14th was the same as a date of seven or even a date of zero now i know you can't actually have zero on a calendar date but for our purposes with day codes it works perfectly fine 
Okay, so we're going to add um, 5 and 0 and 3, and that'll give us 8. Um, we're going to take that modulo 7, so that would be equivalent to 1. And one day is Monday, if you remember our mnemonic device. Zero is Sunday, one is Monday, two is Tuesday, three is Wednesday through Saturday, um, through uh, Saturday, which is a six. So a one would be a Monday. So April 14th, 1919, way long time ago, that was a Monday. That's pretty cool that we can do that no calculator no google no no nothing uh, obviously uh, if you show this to an audience they're going to want you to prove it so you might either need to have some calendars or the internet close by or a smartphone maybe with uh, siri or something like that but um just to get somebody to check it but that should have been a monday all right let's do one more we'll do this one kind of quickly um because speed is also an element of this you got to do it kind of fast and you got to do a lot of this mental math uh, as well Okay, so we've got October 8th, 1649. Man, that was a long time ago. Um, so 1649. So I'm going to think of this just temporarily as 2049 for our purposes. Now that's outside of our window 0 to 28, if you remember our, our year codes from the last video. So I'm going to take the last two digits of this, modulo 28, and uh, I didn't make this abundantly clear in the last video. Um, I should have been more careful with my words. Uh, when I say modulo 28, it should have been obvious what I was referring to, but obviously I mean disregarding the, the two zero. I'm only talking about the last two digits modulo um, 28. And obviously the two zero has nothing to do with it. So we subtract 28 um, from 49 and you would get 21. So this is equivalent to finding the year code for 2021. Um, for that, you're gonna find the leap year closest to 2021, which was 2020. Um, 2020's year code was four, but you gotta add one extra because you're at 2021, you're one year after 2020. And so this will give you a five but don't forget, you're in the 1600s, so there might be a century adjustment required. Um, but actually, there's not this time, because 1900 was plus one. I'm, I'm thinking of the chart on the last page. Um, 1800s was plus three. 1700s was plus five. 1600s was plus zero. So actually, no adjustments necessary uh, at all here. That gives you a five. Eight modulo seven is one. October's month code from a few videos back that you just have to remember is six. Remember six or treat, six or treat. That was the, the mnemonic we had there. Six plus one plus five, six and one make seven. So modulo seven, that gets wiped out. You get a five, a uh, five day, five day is a Friday, a Friday. So I think uh, it was a long time ago, uh, October 8th, 1649. That was a Friday. It was partly cloudy. Now I'm just kidding. I don't know what the weather was like, but it was was a Friday. All right, so um, yeah, we're pretty much done. We, we did all that in our head. With a little practice, you can get even faster at this and, uh, and really impress your friends. All right, uh, I've got two closing remarks I need to make. Um, one, I, I was thinking about this, I just didn't have a good video to include this, and so I, it wound up slipping my mind completely. Um, if you're in a leap year, if you're in a leap year like 2000, 2004, 2008, or whatever, um, for the most part, everything's already been accounted for and adjusted. But the, if, you, if you have a calendar date in January or February, of a leap year that's, that comes before the adjustment had been made with our, our year codes and whatnot, then you actually have to subtract one from your month code. Normally the month code for January is six and for February is two, but we would use five and one if, if you're in a leap year. So for something like February 5th, 19, uh, 1888, uh, maybe let's just do this one real quick. I think we're okay on time. Um, Normally the, uh, or by the way, this is a leap year. Normally the month code for February is two, but since we're in a leap year and it's one of the early months in a leap year, we've got actually got to adjust that to a one. 
five is um, already less than seven, so no need to take modulo seven, it's, it'll just be five again. Um, 18, 88, that's gonna be a little aggravating to do, but just, just bear with me. Uh, we would consider this as 2088 for computational purposes, then we'll just adjust it by a few years. 2088, we, we have to take the 88 part, modulo uh, 28, to drop it back down in our uh, better range. So we'll take out 84, which is a, a multiple of um, 28. So we'll be at 2004. 2004's year code is five. And then we just have a little adjustment because of the century. Um, the 1800s, we're gonna add three for that if you remember the chart at the beginning of this video. So one plus five plus eight, one plus five plus eight, it gives you 14, if my math's right, yeah, 14 modulo seven would be zero. So February 5th, 1888 would have been a Sunday, Sunday. All right, so um, yeah, you can get pretty fast at this if, uh, if you practice a little bit. So I uh, apologize, it, I, I couldn't put it in the month uh, code video because we hadn't talked about leap years yet, but it slipped my mind to talk about it in the year code video because it's discussing months. So anyway, sorry about that. Um, just a little adjustment you need to make. All right, um, so we are basically done. Uh, let me close out with just a couple um, performance tips, if you will. Um, just a couple things to keep in mind as you're doing this for friends or whatever. Um, as you can tell, the year code is the most aggravating to, to do. So what a lot of people will do is they'll say, give me a year, then give me a month, and then give me a day, um, rather than just say the full date all, all the way out, because it's, it's gonna take you you know 10 seconds to actually do all the math, they might lose interest. But if you can do the year code first, and then say, give me the month, and then give me the day, you can quickly add those in and, and immediately come back with a Tuesday and it, it looks more impressive. So ask for the year code first. Um, second, when you're, trying, when you're trying to do those ugly year codes and, and subtract out multiples of 28, use some um, arithmetic tricks. You know, if you're trying to subtract out 56, well notice that's the same as um, adding four and subtracting 60. 60 is a nice round multiple of 10, which is easy to do, and adding four is easy to do. So th this and this is a whole lot easier than trying to subtract 56. Um, same thing with 84 and 28, you know, all those year adjustments. All right, th the next tip is for um, hardcore serious people about, the, you know, that really want to impress people with this trick. Um, to make it even faster, the month code's already fast, the day code's already fast, the year code's gonna take the best of us five or six seconds to do at least. Uh, you can, if you have time and you wanna do this, just memorize the year codes for just the, the 2000, so 2000 to 2099, it's, a, it's 100 numbers to memorize. Um, it's not quite as bad as you might think, but then you would have it automatically, no modulo 28 and then finding leap years and then adjusting it after the number of leap years. You don't have to do all that. You just, you know, if you can memorize the year code for 2077, you got it. And then and then uh, you can tackle the day code and the month code and, and really look like a, a superstar. Uh, last tip, and this is for everybody, um, to get really proficient at this, you just gotta practice, 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 practice. Um, just write down a bunch of calendar dates Try to do them all in your in your head without writing anything down, and then go check them online and see how you did. You're going to make some mistakes. Figure out where your mistakes are, and then correct them, and then you know try to do it better the next time. All right, so um, so that's it. I hope you learned something cool in this little uh, little series of videos here. I think what we'll do, uh, let's make one more video, and we'll just do uh, a handful of examples, just kind of uh, closing with uh, a few practice examples. So we'll we'll do that now. If you go on to the next video.